you tonight or taking your pulse in a matter of speaking. In the coming weeks before the election, we are measuring the political pulse of the major cities in Hampton Roads and Northeast North Carolina. Tonight we are starting on the south side with 10 on your side anchor Tom Chad. Norfolk, like all other cities in Hampton Roads, is steeped in history that predates our founding. But this election, like all the others, is about the next chapter. Virginia's third largest city is a mix of progressive politics and military tradition. The world's largest naval base brought retired Admiral Jake Tobin to Norfolk in the 1960s. I wouldn't want to live anyplace else. Yet Tobin's top choice is no different than most American cities in facing up to its past and charting a future in these partisan times. History never goes away, and there's so much history here. And how it's been told over centuries is sparking a new fight that sometimes troubles Tobin. We need to come together in peace with each other to move ahead together for what we need to be in the future. We being our nation. And Tobin says it starts at the ballot box. It's not I'm going to decide. It's we're going to decide together. We've got some difficult problems that we've got to deal with, and they won't be easy to deal with. For one, the water that paints Norfolk's image as the mermaid city is threatening its very existence. We're dealing both with the sea levels rising as well as the land subsiding. So that relative sea level rise has been increasing over time. The Army Corps of Engineers is recommending nearly a billion and a half dollars to construct seawalls and storm surge barriers in Norfolk. And that's just the beginning. When we look at sea level rise and coastal storms, we're talking more of a 25 year, a 50 year, even a 100 year timeline. So it is more difficult, I think, to conceive of making those investments in the long term. But really, the level of damage that will occur if we don't make those investments are what are really phenomenal. Dwight McDowell invests his time. I'm a coach, so everything is about teamwork to me. In people. You don't ever give up on anybody. He has spent 26 years mentoring at-risk youth in Ocean View. I believe that overall we're trying to work together for to be a, not a good community, but a great community. And that starts with unity and just um, coming together and working through differences. McDowell says people must work for results together. John Smith is one of McDowell's success stories, though it hasn't always been that way. I learned how to cut hair before I actually got incarcerated. Incarcerated for armed robbery. And after eight years behind bars, Smith was ready. He was turned down for a fast food job. The very next day, I walked into a barbershop and started cutting hair. And then from that moment, I just took it serious. And 10 years later, um, got two shops. Smith says it's up to us, all of us, to vote for those serving in Washington. And within your local level, it's, it's, it's very important because those are the ones that can, that physically have the direct effect on you. That direct effect takes more of a political pulse from City Hall than Capitol Hill, though what happens in Washington will directly affect those who live in Norfolk. Tom Shad, 10 on your side.